Since its opening in 2000, the National Museum of Marine Biology and Aquarium, in addition to the rich and diverse exhibition pavilions, has the little-known secret backyard. The secret backyard of the National Museum of Marine Biology and Aquarium is an important core area supporting the living exhibition and fulfilling the mission of research, education, and promotion. In the secret backyard of the museum, there are various ongoing research activities with ocean exploration by unmanned vehicles, focusing on coral protection, and so much more. ROV is the acronym for Remotely Operated Underwater Vehicle. It is also a breakthrough in marine exploration technology. By using ROV, not only the limited time of sampling can be extended, but the risk to divers can be minimized. This way, marine biological sampling will be more abundant and information about the ocean can be digitized. Through live streaming, the public would have a better understanding of the mysterious ocean. Now,其实中光层有合适的珊瑚样区的时候,其实不是每个地点都有,需要经过不断的探勘。就希望能够利用水下无人载具，因为它是在船上暗记操作，就是它是一个细蓝的缆绳，会有游动能力的，然后可以有岸上供电跟传输四 museum utilizes cryopreservation technology to actively conserve species of corals in Taiwan has been established. In addition to identifying coral species, endangered species will be cryopreserved as well. Besides, the museum engages in research on related studies, including the genes and tissue cells of corals and its symbiotic algae, in order to save the increasingly damaged ecology of coral reefs. Conserving coral species and its genetic materials permanently has a significant meaning as the Noah's Ark for corals. Sangu 保存在负200度C下的温度。将近在15年前的时候,我们就开始进行珊瑚的冷冻保存。The Aquarium Experiment Center in the backyard of the museum is a place not just focusing on research, but also promoting marine education domestically. At this location, we have the Sea Turtle Rehabilitation Center, the Coral Aquaculture, the Gallery of Marine Life Specimen, and the Artificial Wildland Park. And with further illustration from environmental education instructors, the public would be more conscious of the interdependence between humans and the ocean. The museum is committed to advocating the importance of marine conservation expecting this concept to be deeply rooted in our society. The Aquarium Experiment Center of the museum is the main site in southern Taiwan to rescue and shelter sea turtles. The museum is also the first institute nationwide to assist the government with establishing the Sea Turtle Rescue Alert System. During your visit, you will have the opportunity to observe the shelter care and health management of sea turtles. This同胞系统可以让我们知道台湾大概一年有多少的海龟搁浅 Apart from rescue operations through education, the Sea Turtle Rehabilitation Center promotes the awareness of sea turtles and concern about the ocean to the public. Looking forward to achieving the goal of knowing and loving the ocean. 
，就像我手中的这些，它可能会排出一些呃塑胶袋，然后或者是一些鱼线。那也有也有是一些塑胶的颗粒，这样都会在池子里面发现。我们最长几乎是进来三个多月，都还会看到它持续不断地排出人造物。其实你会很惊讶，我这么常用的这些东西，怎么会从它的肚子里面排出来？借的这些不管是死掉还是活着的海龟，可以让我们看到海里面它们住的环境到底发生什么事。哦，那这应该是收容中心除了在。救这些海龟，额外我觉得是一个更大的一个教育功能。The museum has carried out many research projects. As the need for research increases, coral breeding becomes another important project of the Aquarium Experiment Center. There are 87 species of coral being bred. And we have a total of around 20,000 pieces of coral. The techniques of artificial asexual reproduction have been established for more than 20 species, among which to support research and promotion of coral for the museum. For example, the conservation of coral species, the research and development, as well as application of cosmeceutical products from natural chemicals, and the exhibition and learning of marine education. 珊瑚农场其实它最基本的理念就是把野外的环境模拟到室内，就是让珊瑚适合生长在像它原生种的一个环境之下。那其实，在我们后场都可以看到这种繁养殖的不同的方方式，不同珊瑚的形态。到现在我们这边里面的，不管在数量上啊，就已经到达快两万八千株了。然后这个物种的多样性也是相当的丰富。Various coral breeding tanks with different functions in the Aquarium Experiment Center are just like the miniatures of coral reefs. Visitors are able to closely observe the creatures in the tanks. It enables researchers to check and apply for them conveniently for academic purposes. Furthermore, it brings hope of restoration to the surrounding coral reefs. Aiming for a sustainable ocean, the museum constructed an artificial wetland park to purify the seawater from the exhibition pavilions and artificial breeding area of the Aquarium Experiment Center in order to reduce disturbances to the ocean. In the long run, it provides not only a suitable habitat for creatures in the surrounding area, but also a better understanding for visitors regarding the operation of the museum and the sustainability of the ocean. The specimen collection of the museum mainly focuses on marine life. There are about 3,200 fish species known in Taiwan, and more than 2,000 species are in the museum's collection. Among all the institutes and museums of marine life in Taiwan, our gallery of marine life specimens has the largest variety of fish specimens. Here, you can not only observe the specimens up close, but gain more knowledge of the significance and importance of the specimens. 我们博物馆的主要目的其实就是研究、展示、教育这几个点。标本典藏这一件事情呢，对我们做研究非常的重要。比如说，我们做分类学或者做生态学，这一些呢，都需要有标本当成它的依据。Specimens are the most solid evidence to verify species identification through educational camps. Students would have the personal experience of specimen preparation. This can also become a major force in promoting the collection of marine life specimens. Through relevant training courses such as specimen preparation and species identification, the children will be proud of the richness of Taiwan's unique fauna, and then we will achieve the sustainable goal of protecting the ocean. 博物馆的另外一个任务就是教育嘛，好，我们大概每隔几年就会举办一个类似的这种营队，像制作标本，或者是像我们这一次是标本鉴定营队。
。那我们比较希望的是说，广泛的去呃探索不一样的制作的方式，还有呃可能去探索不同的可能性。那当有这一些学习教育的机会的时候呢，我们就越有可能培育出更多下一代的学者、科学家。其实像我们身为学生，虽然不像社会中的人士那样那么有的力量，我们在学校可以向我们在学的学生再多宣导一些，像是海洋部分的一些知识，还有一些我们所需要去改变的事情。那像有有学生之间举办像这种海洋议题的工作坊之类，都可以很有效的为我们去再更加认识这个问题，让我们以后有能力可以做改善。Understanding the ocean is not just a slogan. But a way that requires continuous practice to gradually see the outcome. The museum is committed to preserving the marine environment and maintaining sustainable development through research, education, and exhibition. This time, we stand with the ocean. <laughs>